That's Josh. I just pressed start. But what, is, what does that mean? But you should you should press pause. That's right, you should press pause. This is the podcast where we press pause to talk about all the games that we just paused and movies and whatever and chats like press pause like dog pause. I almost put that on the on the IG post that just went out. So <laughs> here we go, episode two. You guys, I hope you're as excited as I am. Listen to this. Listen to this. This is a fancy soda. Oh, that was crispy. That was crispy. It smells like Sounds hops. Good. I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is. <laughs> Mr. IPA there. Diet IPA is what it is. No, I'm just joking. I, I don't even know what that is. I'm what, just What kidding. would that even be? I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, <laughs> who knows? Coors with hops in it, maybe? Maybe. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. Hey, Not if you're yet. listening to this, just the audio, you may have found us on Spotify, or if you're watching the video, you can find us pretty much everywhere except for iTunes right now. And I'm <laughs> getting lots soon. of messages. Believe me, I have lots of people asking me, what, why isn't it, why is it on iTunes? Like, I don't have any control. I don't have any control. So, who's here today? Eric is. Hey. What's up, dude? Hey, Zero's here in the house. He's not so. our hero anymore. I just, I'm like, I can't, I, I, I can't even. I gotta come up with something new, you know, it's you a new gotta, era, but. You gotta, you, know. ba- you gotta back up for a second for, for the, the viewers and let them, yeah. let them see the shirt. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I thought he meant back up the show. I was so, like, we gotta do take two. Yeah, I did. I was like, already? It's the second episode. We already have that? Yeah, yeah. So this, this shirt was from my, my nephews. They have matching shirts. It's a, uh, it's Yoshi and Toad riding Toad. Nope. Other way around. And it says yes. later hater. Here you go. Later hater. I love it. I love it. If you guys are just listening, you can't see it, but it's pretty epic. It's pretty. They have epic. they have some matchers. But pause gang, you know I'm coming through for you. What is going on, pause gang? It's your boy Hate Zero, your hero. Such a great intro. It's just iconic. Crawler, what's happening? Hey, how's it going? It's crawl coming at you. There you go. There you go. I got nothing fancy to say. I'm just, yo, hey, what's going on? <laughs> then I'll get reviews. You guys are way, he's over the top. Calm that he's guy way down. way too energetic. This, 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 is, this shouldn't be about fun. It should be. He snorted once when laughing. Literally unlistenable. <laughs> Bros. <laughs> so, you know, we played a lot of, played some video games this week. I bugged, I, how many times did I bug you, Eric? Just once, I think, right? I think just once, yeah. and I missed it. I know it was so, it was so sad. What we're getting you? We've got to get you. Do you got Black Ops? Yeah, the new, the new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah Cold yeah. War. I got it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, I got, I got Warzone. Um, I have to re-download Black Ops. I had to delete it to make room for the last Warzone update. So now that I've, <laughs> I've updated, I can re-download it. Because <laughs> it, it sounds it comp- like I make funny joke content, but that's real yeah. life. But it compresses right after it gets downloaded. Yeah. Yeah, so it's 100 gig plus to download, but then it goes down to like 40 gigs, so you can download your stuff again. No big deal. Wait. It's totally fine. Wait. My game is 164 gigs. For, for Black Ops, yeah, yeah. So um, I, I don't know if this merged, is true yeah. for... I don't know if this is true for Xbox One, but for PS... Or for Xbox Series X... <laughs> Uh, for for PS5, you can go into it and delete sections of it. So, like, if I don't want zombies, if I don't want the campaign, oh, if I don't want uh, whatever the other, there's another mode. So you can just delete um, campaign, multiplayer, or zombies. You can delete. Well, there's a third you... dead dead. There's a there's a fourth dead ops arcade or whatever. Dead ops arcade. Yeah, yeah. So you can delete which one of those you're not going to play. That might save you a gig, maybe. <laughs> dead ops is <laughs> light, but the zombies and campaign are yeah. are like forty plus gigs. Like there's quite a bit there to to get rid of. So. Okay, we're gonna there keep go. we're gonna keep bugging. I want to get you on stream. Get okay. you on stream with all the hijinks. We did it. To, we did. It. I posted. <laughs> so so crawler and I played some Warzone on like. I don't know, like Monday night, I think. That was Monday off. I think that was off stream, right? Yeah, it was off stream. And, yeah. and I happened to cross this SMG that's like kind of the golden ticket right now in this game. Okay. <laughs> okay. I had the best accidental troll ever. All right. I'm going to let you guys in on a little, a little secret. Okay. So I was recording. All right. 
And this SMG, like, according to one of the 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 one of the biggest Call of Duty TikTokers, this gun slaps. All right, Lucci TV. Shout out to Lucci. What, what does that even mean? Can you explain that to us, old timers? It means it's. <laughs> I love. I invited. I asked Eric if he wanted to. If you, if I let the Discord know, I was going to be on Clubhouse, and <laughs> Eric's the first one. I thought he was one, talking like, about Clubhouse games. The, that's, the that's where I first went to. He and I had a. Eric and I shared a moment. I, I, I found a good. I found a meme for him, and it was all good. Yeah, I was like Clubhouse games, and you're going to talk to people. That sounds relaxing. Like that seems fun. All right. Well, Clubhouse is the new app that like Elon Musk just did a like I think he did a an interview with uh, the CEO of Robinhood on Clubhouse. And what it is, is like they take the room and then everybody else just files in and you can listen. You can raise your hand and ask questions. The likelihood of them calling on you is slim. But um, and, and you're in your with the, with your voice as well. There's no video. There's no typing. It's just. It's just all speech. conversation. Yeah, it's just conversation. Hmm. So literally right now, like if I had a way of pump, if, if <laughs> once you guys are on it, we'll actually do the podcast on Clubhouse as well. Like and people can raise their hand and, and, and chat Got because it. it's, it's literally as simple as just opening up the app on your phone. So there's Clubhouse. Nice. But back to Warzone, the gun slaps means it's good, means it's <laughs> means it's super sick. <laughs> All right. It Super means it's. Sick. Okay, it's, I remember. Sick. Uh, Is it dope? It's dope, dope. AF. Okay. Right. I think rad. that's that. It's rad. It's totally tubular. I'm going too okay. far All now. Right. No. I got gotcha. you. I Crawlers would be like, I "What's totally now. tubular?" Me. <laughs> I understand. You're I watch the Canadian the Ninja Turtle. Turtle. Probably yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So, it's called like I don't even remember the gun's called like the Secret or something like that. It's not Secret. It's it's just similar to Secret. So it's gold. I pick it up, and I literally see his TikTok. That is like, this gun slaps, you can't put it in your loadout yet, but you can find it in the game. So I'll, I just happened to cross it, right? So I was like, oh, this is sweet. Uh, I, didn't, hadn't, I hadn't seen his TikTok yet, but I was like, oh, this gun's cool. But I, was, I only had SMGs. I was getting so frustrated. And then I finally found a sniper, but I did not have the AR, which is my preference in that game. So I have something for distance and something for close range, right? Are you talking Warzone or Black Ops? Warzone. You're playing Warzone. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Warzone. Got it. So... You play too much Fortnite, and then you jump into Warzone. Wait, I'm gonna back up. First of all, I take the clip. The clip is of me, like, trying to, like, just kind of pulse the trigger so that I can get accuracy on this thing at distance, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like- Is that's, this where we were in the police station or whatever? We were by I those- I, What? Or I, I don't know. Was this one at the the second game or the first? Game? Crawler. He's literally explaining the story right know. now. It's it was the uh, they were by those tanks and we were out by those oh, yeah, rocks yeah, okay. and I think you got sniped and then I got you up and then and then so so I'm just like tapping the trigger right because that's what I was I was planning on doing that anyway because of the distance. So I make this TikTok, right? And I'm like I'm like hey. Lucci says this thing slaps. I, I even cut some of his footage in. <laughs> I show me getting the gun. And then I show me like, pop, 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 like, and they're, they're pretty far away. And I can't, I, I, it looks like there's something like I could only see feet. So I was trying to hit their legs. Right. And then they came out and I like cracked some shields and then I got sniped and I died and, and you could hear crawler like, oh no. And then it was, it was game over. So. Here's what happens. I make this TikTok. I put it up. It goes viral. It's got like 60,000 views already. And I got all these people calling me dog water. That's the new thing. I guess, well, if you're a Fortnite kid, apparently. I'm learning. I'm learning. But you're, if you're, uh, um, <laughs> I played some with Nate and he's like, oh God, uh, I thought you were talking about the clip where I didn't open the parachute. He just <laughs> splatted right on the ground. <laughs> that was also good. We've all, we've all been there. We have. We've all been there. So, this clip goes up. I'm getting like people telling me your ass. Like they're just over like all this stuff. Like your your dog Hold on, water. We gotta back it up. What is this dog water? Oh, I'm learning like, so much today. Like there's this clip on TikTok where this guy's like a uh, dollar store headset. Your dog water. Like he just goes into all these things right before he he kills somebody. And so dog water was just one of the things. Like hot dog water, I think, is what it boils down to. Like you're, is that you're, a bad thing? I 
guess it is. It's kind of gross. People love like, the dirty water hot, dogs in New York City. It's oh, like a, it's a, you know, it's a state or a city treasure. I, hot dogs are cheap. Maybe that's the the idea here. Like you're you're okay. I don't. So know. we're not talking like it's an insult. Okay. Okay. My All favorite right. insult on the on TikTok today was old man go pay your mortgage <laughs> and i'm like they, they got you good i'm like i don't know what the insult is here like what what is the insult like loser like, you, uh, thank you very much you're helping me pay my mortgage <laughs> you you have a house you're not in your Idiot. mom's basement like so i don't know i don't know so anyway i'm getting all these comments like bro you suck you're bad at the game sure yeah. where'd you get your aim bot I, and i'm replying to all these with like laugh emojis like i'm having fun with it right because they're they're shooting this video up the algorithm and i'm like i'm all about it so and and a lot of them like i would say the majority of them reply back with a laugh emoji like oh i get it now right because i would be like you, like mistakes were made and i would put a laugh emoji or something like that so the first few people that commented they're like Dude, you have it on semi-auto. And I'm like, no, I don't. I, I don't. And then more said it. And more said it. And I was like, okay. I'm going to go back and check the footage. When Crawler and I got to that location, in my attempt to ping where they were, uh -huh. I put the gun on semi-auto and was <laughs> planning on feathering the trigger anyway. So I had no clue. So now I'm like backtracking like... I just flipped it again. I'm like, yeah, mistakes were made. You know, I too much Fortnite. I've been trying to ping stuff, and and it's still it's still doing well. Like it's the video's still going going crazy, and uh, all that to say, like I'm freaking loving Call of Duty right now. I streamed it last night, and nice. like we had some games where we went off. Like Crawler had some games where we went off. I had some games where I went off, and then we had some games where we were dog water. Right, if I'm using yep. that correctly, I don't. I think that's only for Fortnite kids. So you just say your dog. I think is what the Fortnite or the Call of Duty kids yeah. say. You're just dog. The at best the game. insults are the ones that someone has to go and look up afterwards. Like they're not <laughs> even really sure if they've been insulted. You're they on have to Urban go check. Dictionary. Like, yeah. okay, someone just <laughs> that's called how you me know dog. They got you good. If you have to go yeah. check and look it up, you're like, damn, they we'll got to, me. We'll have to go look up. Uh, pay your mortgage. <laughs> it's probably something else, right? <laughs> so. Yeah, so I, I don't, but I mean, I have not laughed and like just felt so excited to play a game as, as, a, as last night on stream. Like, and Josh had a light bulb moment last night. What like was the first match I hopped in with him? What was that? Uh, I was like, oh, it's like uh, circa, circa 2006 back playing uh, Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. And, the gears were turning in Josh's head because I forget what the map is called in Black Ops or whatever. Uh, but it's it's the like the mansion compound from Modern Warfare Two, right? Oh that, yeah, with it was the a nice DLC map or whatever on the on the backside. Yeah, and, okay. and he's like, "Oh man, that is." <laughs> so it's like, These yeah. were all new to me. I mean, it's been it's yeah. been forever. And and they and I it's newer to me too because I hadn't I hadn't updated in a while and played because. Uh, um cold what is it called cold war is that what the newest yeah. one is um it had crap for map selection yeah, they were like terrible. four like five or six maps in multiplayer and they were uh, not fun no but like <laughs> um i think it's an original black ops map the the train um like it, it's got the train tracks with the two bridges and that kind of stuff mm. uh that one's been remade and is in Cold War right now, so they're 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 doing a good job bringing back some of the the classic maps and and bring them into circulation. So that's that's fun. Yeah, Call of Duty's always been really good about um, incorporating some of the older maps. Every well, especially Treyarch. Yeah, it's so I'll, funny. I'll give that credit. I hated Treyarch. I did not I like did too. Black or Call of Duty Three was dog water. Right, and so was and so was World at War. I now I didn't mind World at War. I liked the dismemberment played, that would take I place. Played camp, I played the campaign, but I did not like the multiplayer. That's all and I played. Zombies. That's, they they brought out zombies with World at War, which I'm not a huge fan of. But that's some people all they care about. Yeah, my son loves it. He bought or he had a friend buy him uh, Cold War just so he could play zombies. He's all about it. Mm -hmm. he, he loves it. So, but yeah, okay. <laughs> this is a quick story time. Uh, remember when Ghosts came out, right? 
Call of Duty Ghost. Yeah, that game. We'll I, talk I, about I, dog water. I didn't mind Ghost that much, but um, whatever. But yeah. Okay. It, so it wasn't, I wasn't very good. I get, <laughs> I get chats like, what is this? This is the press pause podcast chat. Welcome in. It's this a brand is. new show. Brand new show made, made, made for adults by adults. Cheers. Cheers. I already, I already drank <laughs> yeah. all mine. Oh, well, cheers anyway. So yeah, I will just pretend there's drink. Yeah, I was drinking. So I get two copies of ghosts, two copies yeah. for each of my boys. And you know they're they're playing it. I think having a great time. Whatever. And my sure, younger because son, they were young and didn't know any better. They didn't know what good looked like. Well, it was brand new, right? So I mean, nobody like <laughs> yeah. uh, nobody had it started. The Xbox, it was Xbox One had just come out, and yeah, yeah. it was it was PS4. the Call of Duty that year. Well, mm -hmm. I, they got it on 360 because oh, you know, so they like, definitely played Dog Water. <laughs> so, and I'm pretty sure it was Ghost. I'll have to I'll double check, but I'm almost positive it was Ghost. It was the same year that Mario Kart 8 came out. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure. So, my son is up playing Mario Kart, and I'm like, yeah, it's a new game, but he's not that into it. My younger one, right? And this has been a, like a pattern all week. He's not down playing Call of Duty, and I'm like, what's the deal? He's like, oh, I'm just. I'm like, no, for real. What's the deal? And he's like, the story was, the Chihuahua knocked the Xbox over while the disc was in it and it ate <laughs> it gave it a its own red ring of death basically the the disc and so he hands me this disc covered in toothpaste because he's like <laughs> i was to fix the scrap. i was looking up everything <laughs> trying to get it to work you know he's like i know you just got this for me and i'm like okay wait the 360 now allows you to, to install games let me go get your brother's copy of the game let me put it in and we'll install and then your disc should still start it up sure enough it worked and i never saw him you know for a while because he was all about that call of duty <laughs> life again but you know a few years later he's like yeah i totally knocked the xbox over the dog didn't even yeah, touch oh, yeah. it you know <laughs> so um you know yeah so it's a fun little fun little story time with, with call of duty but um what like ea today says uh squadrons and madden 21 are available on game pass and then 2k21 yeah. is hitting game pass yeah so i think <clears throat> i haven't confirmed it yet but i'm pretty certain based on what i know of of the 2k um money hungry sons of guns uh my assumption is it is the last gen version of the game which will work with backwards compatibility but it's not the like next gen upgraded version um of 2k21 gotcha. i'm pretty certain that's going to be the case tomorrow um whereas madden if you have the other one installed you can download like surprisingly good guy ea in this scenario if you have old Madden, you can upgrade to the no, three. You need to bite two, your tongue. One, go ahead, crawler. <laughs> Good guy, EA. In this scenario, I said. I said in this scenario. That's why I was shocked too when they did it because you know they could have charged another seventy dollars for that upgrade. And you mean by they did this like for for Game Pass? You mean Microsoft? No, 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 not for Game Pass. To in okay. in general, if you in owned general. Madden well, PS5 yeah. or or Xbox One or Xbox, man, the naming's so stupid for <laughs> Xbox. If you owned it on Xbox and you owned it on PS4, you can upgrade to the next gen versions of Madden at least for free. Yeah, and it's and an I, actual I, well, upgrade. And that's not like the first time. I remember I wouldn't have bought Madden the year. Wait. Crawler, you gotta go into your rant on why they are not the good guy. I I well, counted guy, I counted they're, down. They're not the good guy, but it's but it's not unheard of because like they did this. I I don't know if it was more the retailers or if it was EA backing the retailers doing this, but I bought Madden, uh, for three sixty the year one came out, um, and then I was able to take it back to GameStop and for like. 10 or 15 bucks or something like that. I got the Xbox one version of Madden. Uh, so, I mean, and that was pre the digital revolution kind of deal. Do you know what NBA 2K did for 2K21? Ultimate 
It charged you $60 for the last gen version of the game. And if you wanted the next gen version of the game, you had to buy it for $70. Or you could buy a $100 version of the game that came with both. That was the options you have with 2K. Uh, so in this yeah. one scenario, it's good yeah, to have the yeah. game. <laughs> <laughs> very limited one scenario. And are you... What's the deal with? Do you know what the deal is with Two K Twenty One? If you had the disc version of the like the the PS Four version, you put it in the PS Five. Was it, did it upgrade at all? No, you you can't upgrade. There is no upgrade path. They just made them two separate SKUs in a separate seventy dollar game. Because I have the because I when I picked up the day I picked up my PS Five, Valhalla was on sale on mm-hmm. Amazon. I think for like thirty five bucks. So I price matched it at um, Best Buy for for the 35 for the ps4 version because i knew that uh ubisoft at least had the the path forward if you put the if you put the disc in you could download the ps5 version unfortunately they they make you keep the disc in to be able to play the ps5 version which kind of sucks but it's there and i can i can do it um but so 2k was (laughs) 2k was Ultimate team. So, yes. 2K was very transparent with this from the get go. So, like, you, I didn't buy the last gen version. I waited a couple months for launch because I knew that there was no upgrade, and I wasn't about to yeah. spend. And you, and you had that money. PS5 locked in and guaranteed. Yeah, yeah. So that was good. Yeah. So, I, I made a comment on the Discord this morning when, when I think when this news kind of broke about Squadrons and Madden, mm-hmm. and uh, the biggest thing. I had two takeaways from both Squadrons and Madden. Squadrons was a forty dollars game uh, off the rip. It was a that's yeah. that, that's what it costs. Sure. You can tell it's a VR built game. It has those set points that you move point to point, and it's and it, it's a beautiful game, and it, it looks great. Um, that is EA's move with Microsoft to keep player base up. That's my main takeaway from that. Crossplay is fully integrated. I have it on PC. Now I can have it on my Xbox if I want to, which is great. But crossplay, I'm able to play with people on PlayStation 4, 5, Xbox, all across the board. It works. That's great. So it's keeping the player base up, which will in turn be good for the community. Madden, my one takeaway was somebody was surprised that the, the the 2021 version was already on Game Pass. And I'm like, EA just wants your money in Ultimate Team because... Once you have the game, most of the streamers and or people that don't want to play franchise or those other modes, I, I haven't dabbled in just because it is a money suck. And the amount of money that they make off it is stupid high. And yeah, sure. But that's that's their goal is is the gotcha mechanic. So, and, and I don't disagree that that's how they're monetizing. And maybe Madden even goes to a free to play at some point. And, but so NBA 2K, people have the same complaint. And I've I've not spent any money, and so I don't. I think people are playing the games different than we used to play sports games back in the day. Because like, you know, I've played with my buddy Demonic Jawa online, and yo, shout and, out to Nick. Yeah, Nick. He said he said he'd be listening, so we'll see. Uh, <laughs> it's a test. <laughs> yeah, this is a test. <laughs> and and so you know, I played with him, and and we. We were able to to play online, and it didn't charge us any any extra money. I'm able to play my player mode, and it doesn't cost money. So, I, I mean, I don't understand it. <laughs> I'm not saying what they're not. I I guess I don't really understand the problem because I'm not being sucked into that trap. I'm not saying what they're not what they're doing isn't wrong. I just don't understand it. This is what I think's happening. Is Fortnite games as a service. Yeah. EA is realizing they have, they probably have more. I'm just guessing, but I I think that there's more money going into ultimate team than probably even the sales of the game. Right. And if they can, if they can start running sales on ultimate team to start getting people building, I think it's like a, I think it's like a, like a, got to collect them all kind of mentality that people get with these things and hmm. they keep buying well, the packs. You gotta, you gotta have good players if you want to win. Cause that the ultimate ultimate team is played online against other people mm-hmm. that have, it's paid. So win. it's like a, it's like a franchise mode from back in our old days yeah. when, when team, when games had franchise mode. 
Yeah. So you're building out your own franchise, but now you have to pay to build them. Is that what you're telling me? But if I was a regular Madden purchaser, which I no longer am, I was. I, yeah, I no longer am either. I would be. My question is, is this game going to be free next year? And then or are you going to are they going to do a a ultimate monthly like season pass like well in EA's in bed with Microsoft a little bit because as ultimate as Game Pass Ultimate members we have EA Play embedded in that and so i think that's this is fruits of that kind of relationship with the fact that they're they're getting more games included cuz this is just on Game Pass it's not even like if you have ultimate where you get the EA Play i think it's just on Game Pass right it's not, not the e- sure. it's not the EA access that's also on PlayStation. Yeah, that part I'm not sure if it's going I, there or not. Because I think my PlayStation account is linked to my my EA Play, which is then in turn linked to my Ultimate, and I don't have much access to free stuff on PlayStation. E- EA Play is is inherently a PC and Xbox kind of thing, and even our Ultimate membership doesn't get me as much on the the dashboard the the pc dashboard of of origin so it there there's different there's three different tiers of of uh ea play on on pc that gets you like early access and more stuff and then free games and stuff Hmm. okay i I mean madden seems like a games as a service game to me just update your roster do a few tweaks to the and then, which, which is what made which is what made Madden feel stale to me over year after year, and why I stopped buying it. Yeah, I would just literally it's, wait and play the year old game after it came with, to EA Access because yeah. I'm like, who who cares? Like, so you, and and I'm on the other side and part of the problem where I buy NBA 2K every year the day it comes out. But, but 2K, I, I feel like I feel like 2K has put more effort into their games, and that's why. Allegedly, I mean, you know, if you. If you took a year off and and bought it every other year, the the changes would feel more significant. But um, when you buy them every year, there are changes, gameplay, graphics, whatever. But um, and I would almost venture to say, like uh, NBA Two K is probably sold better in in Oakland, the like the Bay Area with like the Warriors and higher market like successful franchises at this moment, like the Lakers and. And the Warriors and that kind of stuff that have yeah. teams that those those home t- uh, hometown fans want to play as in that game. I mean, why are you why are you shitting on the Nuggets, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you, nuggets? You, why, why aren't you repping your hometown Nuggets? Then I, I do play as the Nuggets if I play it. like <laughs> so. I have two K twenty or whatever that was free on on uh, on PlayStation Plus or whatever a few months back. I haven't yeah, done it. Was the, like, the file like size is ginormous. But uh, but with 2K21 coming to Xbox, I'll probably download it and, and check it out. Like yeah, you should. No, um, no it, well, if it's not the upgraded version, um, it'll just look like last gen. But the the next gen version of NBA 2K is is a pretty impressive thing to see. So if that ever becomes cheap or free, like I strongly recommend it to people because the graphics, like it looks like a real game of of basketball almost i mean minus the fact that there's fans and you can't have that anymore <laughs> well, um, hey maybe this year we'll get the uh the 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 bubble the bubble uh yeah maybe so tech, tech dome kind of kind of deal well and i wouldn't even say that you're part of the problem buying the game i don't i mean their business right they need to make yeah. money to put out new product you put the hours into that game i would buy madden yes. and i That's could your probably most game. i would I probably know. say i played like maybe 50 games and if i got into online in some cases I, I it was fine but like once the switch came out i was like i think i played one madden tournament once the switch came out and i was like i just i can't justify this 60 bucks anymore because it and it used to be a, a like a family tradition to play on thanksgiving and christmas but mm. i i would beat my brother-in-law and he would he's like i don't want to play anymore <laughs> now you guys have just moved well, to fortnite and, and everything and else how many, right so Mario Kart. For, for years on for yeah, years on NPC, you were talking about wanting Madden on the Switch. Oh yeah, and that never happened. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I, I can go. We can go back years on that, and you've been. I would have bought it on the Switch. I'm not even a football fan. I Same. just think that would have been a good game to have 
you know, on the Switch. I always wanted Madden on the go. The PSP, the one of the games I was the most excited for was Madden. Right? Yeah. I have Madden on my 3DS. Like, I, I, I want the game on the go. Like, I want it on the go. And I know some people have played the mobile game and stuff, but I just can't. I can't play yeah, an action game on mobile. It's just too... It's it's too difficult. It's too difficult. So yeah, I don't yeah. I don't think you're part of the problem. But I mean, EA is a prime example of a company that could literally turn their sports title into, you know, and they could do like, like, a, a yearly membership where you get the update for, for the game with all the new players, all the you know. There all might the teams, be like there might be some contractual. The NFL is very weird with their contracts, so there mm. may be some contractual reason they can't do that. Well, I mean, the player, yeah, the Players Association negotiates with right. EA, and yeah, so there may be a reason why they can't do it, and and there may be a reason the game waits till after the Super Bowl to to become free to play. Right, like there's, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure well, there's stuff that we don't see. NCAA is coming back, and uh, Notre Dame opted out of it. Like they are not going to be in the game. I don't know if they're they're I don't know if they're going to have a Jordan esque kind of likeness to uh, the NBA games from the nineties. Roster where, Green College, yeah, where there's just a, <laughs> where there's just a silhouette of a team, yeah. and uh, and it has stats that are similar to players that might like. But but EA has already been in hot water with being sued. With, yeah. when it comes they to won't stealing do it, people's they, they should totally just do like a, a hunchback you and <laughs> 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 they they won't but they should they fighting should. drunk fighting drunk man school <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> i love but, it so you mentioned you mentioned uh nba 2k for 70 dollars yeah. i'm i'm curious as and josh josh bought uh, Black I, Ops or Cold War for seventy dollars. Mm-hmm. That was a professional no- podcast segue, by the way. I just wanted to put, point that out. Like I know. that I was know. a segue. I was waiting when he was going to jump into like that. that was a that was like <laughs> you just like you just graduated into. It's like, like he's done this before. I, that's I yeah. That was good. That was good. I just had to point out that segue. This isn't his first <laughs> so, episode, too. N- nope. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, segue interrupted, but <laughs> I and not, we ruined it. <laughs> I have not yet pulled the trigger on a. I have some next gen games like we talked about. I have Valhalla. I have uh, I have Miles Morales that I bought on PS4 that got the PS5 upgrade. Yeah. Um, but that was also not a full seventy dollar price game. Yeah, thankfully because um, it's only like eight hours long, ten hours long. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um. How many other next gen titles have you guys purchased for for that like that full new next gen price? I'm just curious. Uh, let's see. Call of Duty. I bought Sackboy. Um, is Sackboy is, very... Sack is on PS4 and is that got the PlayStation treatment of of free upgrade as well? I don't know. I bought the PS5 version because it came out day you know same day. Um, so I I bought the PS5 version and um, it has you know adaptive triggers and everything like it's it's totally worth playing i i mean maybe wait Which for I, it. I, I don't know i love I was it say, i was i was looking at it the other day and i've been hearing good things especially in comparison to playing uh uh multi well no like multiplayer compared to like mario 3d world so yeah. like i feel like william would have more fun with that if, and i have i have two controllers so we could do that yeah. but I, I was on the I was on the PlayStation store the other day and I was looking at because I think Ratchet and Clank is probably going to be one of the first titles I jump in as it comes out. That's going to be that next gen price point. But even that is seventy dollars on the on the PS5 shop, and then there's a digital deluxe version that's like ninety dollars, and it's just got stupid crap tied in there that the FOMO comes in there if you if you sure. want to have it, then it's there. But it's like costumes and other stupid shit. But it's been, I know it's been a long time since video games had a price hike, but since horse armor back in whatever year that, that stupid stuff came out. 2007. Yeah. Yeah. So ever since the dawn of horse armor, there has been a way for studios to make more money. Well, even, even before that game of the year editions where they packaged stuff in there and sold you another the game, same game for a little bit cheaper but that much later and it was more money for them but as as we moved along games haven't gone up in price but microtransactions dlc transactions cosmetic 
stuff in games has has come about and studios make money. Sure. Cyberpunk was a Cyberpunk was a colossal failure when it comes to a launch being successful when it comes to meeting the needs of the customer. And yet day 1 let's let's pause okay but hold on production cost was met pre-sale yes just let's talk met. about that let's okay. talk about that because that's something i don't understand why the hell are people pre-ordering games what is the point in 2021 of pre-ordering a game is it just to download it early pre-install and then uh, th- i mean they're not doing very many pre-order bonuses anymore but I mean, like, that, why that would you used, wait that for used to the be reviews games. now? Games well, games. and I guess I'm digital, right? So, mm-hmm. like, I, I had I I bought Cyberpunk like two weeks early, and I had it on. Why Steam. would I you do like, that? I don't know. I had it for two hours. I played like two hours of it. I, well, and so I have a play, I, I have a and I have a playable version on a PC that can handle it, and it's still it's still. Well, got they under delivered on a lot of stuff in yeah. general, but um, it was on the consoles. It was just abysmal. But I'm just curious why. I mean, download speeds are pretty good these days. Obviously, we're in the very privileged minority um, where our downloads are all really good. I understand if you live somewhere that you can't, I get it. PS4 um, games still download really slow. I got a five terabyte <laughs> hard drive the other day in the mail, and I'm I'm still updating games and stuff upstairs. <laughs> but PS4 stuff still writes slow onto a mechanical drive. But yes, good, the, the good SSD data is, caps. Yeah. <laughs> I, so, I, I got rid of data caps a while ago with Game Pass. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. So that's kind of where I'm wondering, like, why, why, why give them your money months early? What is the benefit to that? Because that was Cyberpunk was a benefit of the doubt situation. Witcher was so good. CD Projekt, but it Red. wasn't good for years. I mean, right? Like, they Witcher wasn't a good game. Witcher three wasn't great until many updates later. I guess we just lost sight of that because I didn't. Nobody predicted Cyberpunk would be this bad. But but in general, like I I don't pre-order games anymore because I'll just get it on launch day and mm-hmm. and you know and well, Nintendo uh, gives you six dollars back if you pre-order it digitally, okay. right? Okay. And Ninten- Nintendo, if you want anything physical, you but run you can risk, do that the day before risk. and get six bucks back. Sometimes you have to because Best Buy and Target don't have Game & Watch stuff up until hours before launch day. I just don't trust any game that waits until launch day to release their reviews, right? That, like if they have a... They were shady about that, yeah. And so if I don't see a review, I'm, I, I won't pre-order till I see a review. And if it happens to go on launch, then it's even better because then I get all the angry masses complaining about it on Twitter before I even wake up. So part of it's the FOMO he talked about, right? It's yeah, like, oh, if I pre-order is. this, I get this digital item. I can play right? it at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, and I mean, with like for me, the the pins for Mario 3D uh, for the 35th anniversary. By having that game digitally, I guaranteed to complete that mission. And yeah. I was like, I don't want to. Did you have to pre-order it for that? Well, no, it, but you. But if you got it digitally, it was already on your My Nintendo account versus me. Like, so I did that with a 3D All Stars collection. I have an unopened copy that I bought physical, but then I bought it digitally just so it was there because it is it is classic games that I wanted there. But I wasn't super worried about having Bowser's Fury and 3D World on my Switch digitally. So I just you just have to remember to, when you get it, claim your points so it gets added to your account. But sometimes it takes a little bit. 48 wow. hours the reason i didn't yeah. get the first pins is because of that very reason and i did not me, want to miss that let me go about this a different way okay stop giving people your money if they haven't worked for it yet <laughs> right yeah. like yeah. we we've got to as consumers we have got to hold people accountable and and if you're giving someone your money two months in advance, you you don't get to complain anymore. And I obviously I'm joking. You do like you should still be delivered a product. Mm-hmm. But but you blindly gave someone your money two months in advance for something that's just a promise. You were sold a roadmap. You weren't sold a game yet. Well, games are almost more of a guarantee. Whereas we've also come about in a time of Kickstarter and other stuff where you yeah. do just get like I bought an Ouya. <laughs> that's sitting upstairs collecting dust. I mean, 
Hey, it <laughs> will on that long enough, it might be I, worth it, something. It might be where I have four controllers for it and everything too. I don't know where they all are, but I have. <laughs> I know I spent like two hundred something dollars on an Ouya. Uh, I found one for seven bucks at a thrift store <laughs> and flipped it for a hundred on eBay. Oh no! I think it can be. I think it can be jailbroken pretty well right now. And it, if I wanted to do something with it, I could. But yes, I have a two hundred dollar piece of plastic crap upstairs that is just <laughs> called Ouya. But like. But Kickstarter is also somewhere where established company like yeah uh, good uh, things have come from that. like like I, Sony I, will say hey what is that <laughs> the I can't even remember the game but they're oh, like yeah. go to the kick did the game ever come out I uh, I forget which game that was but yeah but then like but ukulele was something that came about from Kickstarter sure. I think too and there is some stuff that has pedigree there that what was it beautiful Joe no. Uh, uh, wonderful, uh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 they did the yeah. same thing. It, it's either Indiegogo or or Kickstarter or pl- pledge yeah. something. I think is yeah. There's multiple places that have it, but th- that's the mentality. I think that I mean, it, and it's more of a guarantee when you're buying it through a digital storefront of PlayStation or Xbox or, or Steam. Know. But Cyberpunk not 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 mean. when it comes to Cyberpunk because that was <laughs> that was botched as well. But <laughs> and you still can't get Cyberpunk on PlayStation. It's just not there. Um. But I guess coming back yeah. around, like my big question is like, is this seventy dollar upgrade price in hike, price hike like, is it is it justified? Is it there because there's still this this digital stuff on the on the storefront that is the the digital deluxe versions and the microtransactions inside NBA Two K and sure. and Black and, Ops and Two K sells what three different SKUs. The championship edition, like the, the least, 70, yeah. 70, 90, 120 dollar versions, and it's yeah. it's stupid. Versus, like, um, I'll have it come in here pretty soon. Like the Scott Pilgrim on on Limited Run has three different versions, but there's three different tiers of physical stuff you get. So, and that's that's different. And then we we haven't had collectors editions in a while too. So let's talk like Ghost of Tsushima. Let's talk The Last of Us. I don't think either of I those. Have the, I have the Ellie. I have the Ellie thing. <laughs> yeah. So I have the base version of both of those. I don't think there's any DLC or in game digital purchases. Both of those came with physical stuff that you could pay extra for, which I don't think is in the same category as what you're talking about. And I think those two games are a prime example of why I think games should have increased but it shouldn't be for all games right like 70 dollars shouldn't be a blanket price for a game to come out something like miles morales they knew mm-hmm. shouldn't be a 70 dollar game and they sold it for what 50 i think for and 40 for ps4 50 for ps5 um but like the the amount of acting because they motion capture for for the last of us all those scenes all the voice acting like the story the the music like there's a lot that goes into games that wasn't true in 1996. So we can't expect companies to only be trying to make the same amount of money, right? So they have to, you know, they have to do other crappy stuff where they do the microtransactions. And so if The Last of Us 3 came out, I wouldn't be upset it's a $70 game. But something like, you know, NBA 2K... It is a little shady that they charge $70 because they are making a ton of money off of the virtual currency that, you know, people are are investing in. So they don't, you know, you can grind and upgrade. You don't have to spend a dollar in NBA 2K. I know this because I haven't. um, But I would have to spend hundreds of hours to do what's going to take someone $15, you know. Mm -hmm. So you can do it, but... um, I don't like so, the mo- I don't like the mobile like gaming space bleeding into mainline gaming is what I is what I it kind of comes down to with Madden and 2K and yeah. some of those practices that they have. Here here's yeah. what happened with me in Call of Duty this week. Like I like the tracer rounds on the guns. I think they're cool. I think that's a cool effect and I like that you can get guns that can dismember people. Right? These are these are upgrades you can purchase. They don't they don't hit any harder. It's just if you shoot in the legs, their legs come off, right? It's it's a cool, it's like, it's it's brutal. I love it. I'm like, okay. I'm going through the store and I'm like, okay, this gun, this AR, this assault rifle, <laughs> right? 
has green and dismemberment. So that should add to all of my ARs. No, it's a, it's a single blueprint for a certain kind of gun. And I couldn't, I, those were not interchangeable. It's only with that gun. And I don't even know. Did it tell you that before you purchased it? I was super confused. Now, maybe, maybe it does, but I was like, I'm under the impression if I'm like, here's okay. Here's what happens. You can go, they're trying to sell you something on every corner of that game. Like it's not just like, here's the store. Like in Fortnite, it's like, here's the store, buy your skins. That store, that store page is like visual vomit. It's just everywhere. You go into your, you go into your weapons and you can enter the store for that particular gun, right? And so I had gone back and forth so many different times trying to find, like, I didn't know if I was going to be buying the right, like... <laughs> if you're telling me about your paddles, I'm afraid to use my paddles because yeah, I'm, I'm afraid. Buy. <laughs> I'm afraid to use my paddles with Black Ops because I'm going to buy something on accident. Like, Oh my gosh, Josh has turned into the old man confused in the store. Go pay, go buy your mortgage. Go pay your mortgage. <laughs> go pay your yeah, mortgage. Go, go pay your old mortgage, old man. So, so, so I, I guess buy I'm... this. I buy this because it's like, okay, it's green tracers. They look cool. And it's got... And, and, okay, not, and it doesn't tell you, like m16 or you know whatever the oh, case is no like, that's it, the other thing it doesn't it gives you some secret name that they give this gun and you've got to kind of yeah, like random name yeah and, and you have to kind of figure out like is that a is that the kilo is that the xm4 like what what gun is it hmm. so i purchased it because i was like okay i like this is what i want to put like six dollars or what 25 what dollars what? what have you done Twenty five dollars. No. You get it. You get. I'm not even going to say that it's worth it, but you get it's you, you get an operator and all the other crap, right? So I go to put. I'm like, okay, how do I put these tracers on my main gun? You haven't unlocked it yet. <laughs> it's not there. I can't do it. I can't do it. I finally like. I'm googling. I finally figure out like, okay, this is only available for this one gun. I'm like, I'm going to Xbox right now and getting one, a reef on one mode. On one, yeah, on one <laughs> blueprint. I can't even move. I'm like, it's infuriating. It Did is. You even have that blueprint for multiplayer. Like they give you the gun. Blueprint? They give it to you. You can use that blueprint in your loadout, right? But you've got to get enough money to go buy the loadout anyway, or you're never touching that gun, yeah. right? So, I mean, I'm like, I'm I'm pissed. So I go on yeah, Xbox. But Twenty-five bucks is substantial. Yeah, I go. I mean, it's a wait, what? It was almost a quarter of the price of the game. So I get a <laughs> refund on Xbox. They give me they they give me the the refund. I still have the gun. They didn't take away oh. the digital gear. I'm like, well, whatever. And, I mean, and your credit card's already been credited back. Yeah, and so then I they found have, so. I found the one I wanted, and then and then and then purchased that one. And you know, I'm but the the. The thing that sucks is like you find the gun that's the meta that has the tracers and the dismemberment and or dismember. And if the meta changes, I can't do anything with that with that purchase at this point. And I'm like, (laughs) all right, I'm not doing this again. Like that's so I guess that's where I'm so old fashioned because like let's use mario odyssey as an example they could have made all those outfits paid dlc and it wouldn't have mattered to me because i didn't want to change mario's outfit out of my mario outfit you know what i mean like i want my mario to look like mario and when i'm playing any other game i don't i don't care about the cosmetic stuff like i want my character to look like the designed original character i was sold and like even Resident Evil 2 or, you know, all those games back in the day where you play through and then you unlock new skins or whatever. Like right. I never did any of that. I don't like the new skins. I don't want them. I don't even want to see them. Like, OK, if I play Mass Effect, I'm doing Standard Shepard the way he looks on the cover yeah, of the box. 100 percent. That's it. Yeah, I don't I don't deviate from that ever. But in a BR or in a multiplayer, I want to find like now that there's options, I want to find what resonates the most with me and that I like the best. Yeah, <laughs> and I can't believe you called me an old guy locked in the lost in the store. <laughs> old guy yelling at a carton of milk. No, I just was nervous with the paddles that I would hit the wrong button on the paddles. That's seven dollars for milk. <laughs> Forget it, I'll starve. <laughs> <laughs>
But I mean, and then the, but twenty five is that's ridiculous. That's steep. I didn't think it was that much. Yeah, if you want an operator, at least, two, you, at least you get an operator and stuff. Two but, blueprints. Yeah. But I mean, I mean, a, a, a Fortnite skin costs like twenty bucks or something like that. But are they really that much? Oh yeah. It, well, they're 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 strategically hidden behind a, a currency that has no real value into dollars and cents. So let me tell you the one game I bought a season pass for. It was Breath of the Wild, and I'm never buying another season pass. <laughs> that was an, that was an under delivered season pass. <laughs> oh, Let get me... Hyrule Warrior season pass. It offers so much. <laughs> <laughs> Not playing this game anymore. I, I fell for it once. I got my Switch T-shirt that was literally unplayable. Right, like you can use it on the Great Plateau, and then you you outrank, like you out level it immediately. <laughs> right. And so yeah, it was like look nope. at you, look at you transitioning though, because. I think we would be remiss if we don't talk about the Switch on its four-year anniversary. <laughs> Look at these transitions. It's wow. almost like we know what we're these doing. These segues are so nice. Dang. Wow. So it got leaked today by Bloomberg, apparently, that we're getting a 720p Samsung mm -hmm. OLED screen, seven inches. Does that mean the bezel's gone, hopefully? This year. Oh, that'd be that'd be amazing. Yeah, I mean, usually with the OLED, they don't have to do the crazy bezel. I mean, you, the same is true with modern LCDs, but yeah. Um, what is what does Nintendo do with that? Like, what do they like? Why are these outlet like? Why is an outlet the size of Bloomberg trying to leak? Like, that's how desperate news has become for Nintendo. Like, Nintendo's not given anyone anything. Yeah, but well, Bloomberg Nintendo is a business. Nintendo doesn't want <laughs> Yeah, and, that, and that's why it's important for their yeah, investors. It, that's and true. No, but like Nintendo doesn't want to hurt sales in these last. They have two more quarters probably to get through, and a new financial. <laughs> and they got year. two switches they're trying to sell right now: a red one yeah. and a Monster Hunter one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the red one. I, I I saw it a lot on that first weekend, but I haven't actually seen it out a whole lot since. I since, still haven't but... even trans. Like I haven't even moved my stuff over to yeah. it. I, my I my old switch is sitting in the red dock. My old switch <laughs> well, is in the red say, dock. Is your sma do you still have your smash dock? Is that what you're using? It's no, it's the red <laughs> dock. I don't even know where the smash <laughs> dock went. It's around here. How many docks do you have? Four, five yeah, at least. I don't want to talk about even it. An, even all, AC all one, a regular one, a smash one. We have two ACs, two regular, a smash and the red one. And then two lights. And then a, a, a light. And then two lights. Jeez, that's a lot of switches. And there's a lot of people house. that live here. But, yeah, there are, there are. I I will buy like I will sign up and pre-order this thing day one. And yeah, uh, the the OLED is is a game changer. So you know the article goes on to say that it'll do 4K docked and all that, which isn't a huge appeal to me. Like I don't care about that so much. But um, the OLED screen makes the switch actually playable on a rooftop so now i can live out my karen dream when when COVID's <laughs> over and you, you don't want to be a karen cruise. anymore i'm telling you it's not <laughs> did, it's not all that it's did 2020 up ruin the karen <laughs> yeah, dream of the, playing on a rooftop yeah thanks, she has thanks, to be renamed lot. yeah well i just want to live out that dream where i'm on a rooftop playing my switch and passing it around and everyone's everyone's there to play switch like yeah i don't know I, <laughs> where's that timeline i get at? it I get it, but I mean, okay, great. It's 4K. What are they doing about the... At, at this point, after playing the Series X a lot, the frames are more important to me than the resolution. Like, the resolution Absolutely. is great, but, like, like, give why it, would I play... Why I, I would I play Apex on Switch at this point? You know? Because you can play it at 4K and 14 frames per second. <laughs> Cool. That's like playing a 64 again. I mean, it's super nostalgic, right? Like, let me throw with, two with, proximity mines and watch with the dynamic thing scaling. Just... with dynamic scaling all over the place in 4K. Oh yeah. my gosh! I I don't. I think they're doing it just to appeal to people who who want the buzzwords of 4K. Yeah. But but yeah, I mean, I don't care about that, right? I'd rather them use the extra horsepower to target more frames. I think we all agree there. Um. I'm and, like, as a Nintendo guy, I'm done playing third party games that are out on the Xbox. I'm done. There's no, I, I told you that would I, happen. I, I, you, Eric warned you. I, Eric I know. Warned you. I know. But I mean, literally Fortnite is one of the most gorgeous games I've ever seen now. 
on yeah. the Series X, and it looks now that like you've gotten rid of your mud. Dude, Nintendo it's Clay glasses. Fighters. It looks like <laughs> Clay Fighters from the Super <laughs> Nintendo. Like, it's it's yeah. terrible. The and like I play with my wife. You know, I'm in my office on the Xbox, and I literally just wait for her to load, like to to load in. She's mm-hmm. like, "Oh, you're already in there." I'm like, "Yeah, I'm already in here." Like, <laughs> we are putting an Xbox in our bedroom, and you are playing Fortnite with me on that. From now on, I can't take this any longer. So, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, and you know, it. I think we talked about it last week, but I I hope that developers don't try to do, uh day one or even you know retroactive having um panic button or whatever port the games over like i hope that they're investing in making original switch games all day long rather than you know i don't i don't want black ops on switch to look terrible right yeah and we did talk about that like origami king's water made by nintendo looks incredible Mm -hmm. but doom Ported a year and a half, like a year later, does not look that great. It did, did Doom, oh, Doom Eternal did come out, but it was digital only, and mm-hmm, yeah. I don't even know what Digital Foundry or anybody showed about that. But, but yeah, it's not worth playing third party. And I mean, with Game Pass, like, I, I, do you subscribe to Game Pass, or you don't even have an Xbox to play that much anymore? Do you? I still have an Xbox, but it's. Okay. Uh, I think I'm still subscribing to Game Pass for some. Unknown reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best deal. It's the best deal in gaming. You yeah, gotta it, keep it going. It is the best deal in gaming. Chat, like, there's no denying that. Chat's like crawler with his water. Crawler loves the water in Origami <laughs> crawler King. Crawler does love the Origami King water. <laughs> and it, it was. It looked very good. Yeah, I'm making a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen this water? Have you seen this water? <laughs> it's like better than Wave Race 64. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nintendo's always been good at water. Let's be oh, real. Oh, it's been so good. It's so good. But even Fortnite's water, not on the Switch. I'm like, ooh, <laughs> ooh. And but and so you know, the, today is the four year anniversary of the Nintendo Switch, right? Yeah. So I think we would be doing a disservice not to at least call out a, a few, you know, great memories of the Switch and and. You know, it four years is a long time, and I think we still have some good years left with the Switch. But man, I'm still just you know, I'll never forget the day that Breath of the Wild hits, and you're you're looking at like, you know, you're on that great plateau looking over, and you can see the entire map. Like, what they were able to accomplish with that game is still so incredibly impressive, even though it's a bad Zelda game. Bad Zelda game. Great I'm nervous. Game. Ten out of ten game. Bad Zelda game. I'm I'm nervous about Breath of the Wild two running on the OG Switch. Yeah. I'm I'm yeah, nervous about it. I mean, I I 100 anticipate Nintendo taking the Xbox PR line, which is we're not going to leave you behind. I, the track they, record they, doesn't indicate that. They, with- I, I'm going to say they. I think they suffered with certain titles not working on the new 3DS. What about the expansion pack for the N64? Yeah, somebody didn't get to play Perfect Dark. Wah wah wah. Or Donkey that Kong was me. <laughs> <laughs> or Donkey Kong. Or yeah, Donkey Kong because well, they didn't want to fix a bug. I wasn't. I wasn't as worried about that. <laughs> I got my expansion pack from Donkey Kong, so you just had to buy the bad game to get to play the good game. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. I mean, I I hope I hope they find a way to do it. But like, I think that's also part of the reason why uh, Halo got delayed a full year. Probably that it's going to end up being is they're finding a way to make it look and perform better on old hardware. But yeah, the the day one Xbox Xbox One is not going to do well with these new titles coming out. I, I it, there's, they're not, not going to be, I don't think Xbox is going to, is setting themselves up to succeed. They're, they're, right. they're going down the path of, of cyberpunk and other, you're not other going games. to, something has to give, right? So either Halo's not going to live up to the enormous potential or expectations that have been put on it for the series X. Um, or, it's not going to it's going to be almost unplayable on the Xbox one, right? Something has to give. And well, so, and I mean, look, they like. Black Ops 
runs on the one and then mm -hmm. runs on the series x right with with the enhanced up to 120 frames mm -hmm. not through a capture card not through a splitter no. <laughs> you know not yet not yet do you guys also like speaking of halo i know we're supposed to be talking about switch memories but uh there was kind of word <laughs> of like a halo br announced like not not the battle rifle the battle royale like kind of hinted I Hmm. I think, yeah, wasn't that, that's a couple months old, right? Wasn't that kind of buried in some of their press stuff? I, I, I just saw, I just saw stuff of this, I saw stuff this week coming out. So, interesting. I, you know, I don't I, know. I mean, but. multiplayer's free to play, so you never know. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that would be, that'd be cool. And it seems like they're willing to kind of take chances because they did some interesting stuff with the multiplayer previously we're all going to be in odst pods dropping down on the ring <laughs> that'd be so much fun that'd be cool oh that'd my gosh cool. i would i would i would be all about that life i would be all about it i'd buy all the stuff i would i would i would buy <laughs> all, all the, the all the microtransactions <laughs> i remember <laughs> the trouble you got into with halo 4 5 oh was it 5 what halo are we on 5 <laughs> we're on 5 i don't want to talk i don't want to talk about it are we on five? What's we're, the one coming? Infinite what's, what's is that six. Is coming it's six. Out. It's, it's like six. Yeah. It's like four D two. So five guardians. So, okay, five. You know? Yeah, yeah. Guardians. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So guardians. I remember the trouble you got into with that. With those. What were those rec packs? Is that what, what those called? Why are we talking about this? <laughs> I remember. That's all. I'm just. I'm talking about it because I remember. What did I do? You you bought a lot of them. I know because I want all the armors. <laughs> But at you least you can unlock them that's, by playing. That's, 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 that's an impossible chase because aren't there like hundreds of armors in the, yeah, there were a lot. Look, the coolest thing, like when it comes to armors and, and skins and all that stuff, I have the Halo, like the first Halo 5 Championship Edition uh pistol and AR. And I'm like, I'm sold because there's not that many people that have that. And so like, I'm like, okay, I'm good. Like that was kind of what cured me from having to buy the rec pack. Cause I'm like, nobody has this. <laughs> I got something exclusive. So I'm good now. I'm good. But yeah. Uh, good. yeah. Good. But yeah, switch. I mean, switch. I mean, this last weekend, this last weekend, mm -hmm. we have our smash bros league in the discord. We did our first crew battle. It was 12 versus 12, 36 stocks. It came down to two final stocks in the West team, the, 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 the West the, coast the team. Took it. Yeah. The, the crow zone, <laughs> watch out for that guy. Uh, and it was, it was awesome. Like we've got like, and what's happened is those teams have like, they've bonded. There's like this bond over nice. smash. And like, I freaking love that. Like I tweeted today, I met so many friends and made so many friends because of the switch. And I, I, I mean, it, it, it's, it's great. It's incredible. It's incredible. I'm on a, I'm currently on a, a, a high with, with next gen though. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm still yeah, going got, back and playing your, Smash. You're honeymoon phasing right now. Yeah. Well, the problem is not only are you honeymoon phasing right now, but like, this is all introductory stuff to next gen. Like soon you're going to get real next gen titles that aren't catering to, to old tech. Like, yeah. And my, my biggest benchmark for that is look at Halo. What was it? Halo four, the cutscenes. On Halo Four, look at look at Mario One to Mario Three. If you want to talk, <laughs> go, go away, go away with it. <laughs> Facts, go, go away with it. But <laughs> back to my point, which was <laughs> which was the cutscenes in like just the the full motion video that they had in Halo Four running on a three sixty was incredible at the what was that a 10 year life cycle on that that console just the amount of power they were able to squeeze out of that machine which one was halo 4 I, I didn't mind the story people didn't like the story with the light blood halo rain and the yeah it was 343's first like where cortana starts to go crazy maybe mm. i didn't even play for it was that during the time where i didn't have my 360 i anymore? think so I think it was. I, might the, not, I'm, I don't even think I played it. It's the you end of the in, life. You need to plug in your your X and uh, get back into Master Chief Collection a little bit. It's good. It's yeah. Good. Huh. Okay. Maybe that's why I thought five was four. This all yeah, because <laughs> five is bad. I haven't even finished five yet. I I thought. Hey, 
I thought the Hunt the Truth was worth five. Hunt the alone. Truth was Hunt the Truth is awesome. We talked. I think we talked about that yeah. last week. Hunt the Truth was amazing. Yeah, but I hope they do another I got, one. I got sick of doing the same boss fight in different areas multiple times over, and yeah. your AI is crap in that game. And we you don't mind that up. as long as it's Odyssey and they're fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, video games, video games, video games. Eric, what's a good say, Switch memory? What do you got? Okay, like, fine. um, yeah, I mean, it probably Breath of the Wild. Like, you know, I give that game a hard time because I'm I'm a Zelda fan, and and I like the the traditional Zelda dungeon approach. But, um, it wasn't just so much the playing that game. It it felt like um old school playground again where you and i or us in the community would be like hey i found this thing and you know you're just like right. excited to talk about it again and not necessarily spoiling it and um i wasn't looking stuff up online and even when i was watching videos there's so much to do i still probably haven't found half the stuff i found in videos because i haven't been I, everywhere i remember but... seeing the flying machine videos and stuff people finding the crazy Mm -hmm. Crazy way to use Magnesis and yeah. go flying. I still don't know how people were doing some of that stuff. Like, <laughs> but I, but yeah, like I think that was still like that game. You know, it's in my top five games all time. Do you remember? I was thinking about this recently, and you kind of you kind of reminded me of it. But do you remember the first time you saw the dragon flying around in Breath mm -hmm. of the Wild? And, and you weren't you were, sure if it could kill you or something? Yeah, You're like, there was this... You, you ran away from it. Yeah, you yeah. were like, just kind of scoping it out from a distance. <laughs> yeah. Like, can this thing see me? Like, yeah. like that was There's such a cool so experience. so much wonder yeah. about that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And I mean, other games have that, right? Like Skyrim and stuff like that. But it mm -hmm. doesn't quite have the magic that Breath of the Wild had. Like, it yeah. just... It didn't, like... The game was true, like freedom. It yeah. was go, it, see it, go do it, and that's that's mm -hmm. what Nintendo had told us. What three years before the game came out? <laughs> yeah, it was like delayed six and years. <laughs> <laughs> you, you see that tree in the distance, that mountain in the distance. You can go climb it, but like nobody believed it until right, right. you got without to... load screens and everything yeah. else. Right, like amazing. Well, and uh, like there, there was just that. Like you, when you got the, they finally did the update. They showed you where you've been. And you're like, I've never even been to that part of the map before. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. and why did I do so many circles right there? What was I looking for? <laughs> That's why they can reuse that map in Breath of the Wild too. People haven't been to the whole map. <laughs> yeah, we have not yeah. fully explored that thing. There, there are areas I definitely have not been. Secrets still left uncovered. I still have, I still have like a handful of shrines I have to go find. Yeah, Same here. I haven't. I, it's almost more work to go look it up online and then try to figure out which ones I don't have. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's easier to it's just a lot of work. do it organically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was like the cool part too. Like it, it didn't force you into any direction. So, um, which is, you know, cool and maybe part of its downfall and why they couldn't do dungeons. But, um, you know, so you get off the Great Plateau, and I'm talking to all my friends, and everyone went different paths, right? And not everyone tried to go do the same thing first. And it was just crazy to hear, like, oh, you went, like, I didn't go to the Gerudos till, like, third. Like, you went there first. Right. That's weird. Like, That's you know, like, what, what what order did you, do you remember how which order you went? Yeah, I went to, to, um, El Elephant one. Water? Uh, yeah, water. I went to water first, and then I went to Goron, then Gerudo, and then um, Birdman. Forget Bird guy's name. Bird people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, Falco. I forget what they're uh, what, <laughs> angry Falco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forget Falco. what that. I forget what the race is called. But yeah, I did. Yeah. I think I did. I think I did water, air, electric, mm. fire is what I did. I, okay. First, I, I think I actually I finally had to break down and look up how to go to Death Mountain because I'd never walked the path to get the elixir to be able to go into the heat, and so mm. I couldn't go to Death Mountain because I kept getting burned up. And I was yeah. like, "How how do you get in here? Where's the red <laughs> and, tunic?" Because because yeah, because I never walked. Because if you walk the path from the stable up towards Death Mountain, there's a there's a vendor or whatever right there to give you an elixir to give you time yeah. to get get there 
and I I never because you could go anywhere. I just never walked the yeah, path. You could avoid it if you want. Yeah, I went so from from Death Mountain. I remember this. I was looking at the top, and I saw um, the Great Deku Tree, and because you could see him, and I'm like, I gotta go there next. And and I went. You know, you know I couldn't get the. <laughs> I couldn't get the master sword because I didn't have enough hearts. And oh, I yeah. learned that like, it was just so fun to, to just play with like childlike wonder again, you know, mm-hmm. to play that game. Like we used to play games. And unlike so many Nintendo games, it didn't handheld. It doesn't, doesn't tell you where to go. It doesn't um, force you into direction. So it just, it all felt, I, I don't know. It just amazing. Nintendo magic. Yeah, it's it really the best way to describe it too. I mean, it was yeah. it was it was just that for like and I mean now, it was also on the Wii U, right? And sure. like but nobody had the Wii U. So, it's <laughs> it's just hey, interesting. 13 million people had it. Right. Right. But I mean all those 13 million definitely bought Switches like almost day one <laughs> because they're yeah. hardcore Nintendo, right? So, but that that felt like a new experience and it wasn't because of graphics it wasn't right. you know it was because of the ability to explore and 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 get out into that world and basically do what you did in the very first Zelda game but in with modern tech and that's what was yeah. so that was what was so amazing i mean nintendo started the hotline because of how difficult the first Zelda game was Right. And that went to like, I think into the 2000s or at least the late 90s. And it was originally like three people that could not keep up with the amount of phone calls they were getting. And eventually when it shut down, I think it had 200 employees all answering phones for the. And I, I guarantee there would have been fo- the phone would have been ringing off the hook if it was still relevant. It probably would have been text or like chat support at this point. <laughs> but for Breath of the Wild of people getting stuck. Mm-hmm. You know, if it wasn't for YouTube and everything else that, you know, it's at our fingertips now. But. <laughs> There are no so, mysteries anymore. No, no, definitely not. Crawler, what about for you? What about what's a, what's a, the switch switch memory that just stands out? I mean, I I was one of those 13 million that didn't buy a switch day one and I didn't buy Breath of the Wild because I didn't want to like ruin it. I knew I wanted a switch and I just didn't have one. They were hard to get off the bat and I was playing Destiny a lot. So I wasn't I wasn't putting forth the effort to get a switch right away. But when Mario came out, that's when I got a switch mm-hmm. and uh, I mean, that first weekend, I, I I got my Switch on like a Thursday, that Thursday or whatever before Odyssey, when Odyssey came out and then uh, went on a road trip. And that was the most beautiful thing to have a Switch. And it was just with me. I played handheld, I think, like the first 30 some odd hours that I had the Switch because um, I was I was on a road trip to Nebraska and hanging out at, at family and all that kind of stuff and so in the off hours i was that's what i played through i had one game and it was odyssey and i was playing it a lot and i remember i think by the time i got back on like that sunday or monday night i beat the what were the stupid enemies named the brutals or whatever uh, the and then brutals, nobody yeah. knows because they were <laughs> terrible and then you got that really cool moment with bowser and all that yeah. stuff with odyssey and then uh and then black friday came around and it was time to get i think i got maybe 10 bucks off on uh breath of the wild and I just remember being part of this community and and the Discord when somebody we knew would come and they'd they'd pick up uh, Breath of the Wild to be like, well, see you in a hundred hours, have fun. And it's like, and yeah. that's what it is. It was like, yeah. go get lost in this world, have fun, and it, it, it'll take you a hundred hours, and you won't still see everything. It's nope. it, and it's incredible that way. Yeah. Um, but also like just the desire to buy things for this machine. I've never had so many games for a system. Um, and I had a lot of th- Xbox and 360 games, but like I have a shelf just full of Switch games and it's and there's a handful of how many other indies that are just digital just living on my Switch. Mm-hmm. And the tiles, I mean I'm, Josh has more than I do even, but like just scrolling through the games and I have a 400 gig memory card in it and still not enough space i have to archive stuff and it's just like (laughs) it's it's incredible just the even though it is underpowered compared to what we're currently playing and and all that stuff it's the the magic and the wonder that nintendo 
gives us that yeah. it makes me excited for whatever switch super switch or new switch or whatever stupid freaking name they please come switch up with pro you. just call it switch pro please <laughs> nothing super else switch pro you. oh I, my god i actually have i wouldn't a- mind going back Super Nintendo style naming. I would be okay with Super Switch, but Super they Switch call it the new Switch. I'll, I yeah, swear. I, call it new. But, I have a different yeah. memory. I forgot. <laughs> okay. I have a better, I have a better one. Uh, when we got review copies of Earth Atlantis. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I don't, Crawler, you weren't around for. I don't think I was around for that one. <laughs> uh, go find episode like 71 <laughs> of the NPC or um, listen to that. Uh, I I joke. I, I absolutely hated that game. It was it was bad. It was it was not it was not fun for me. Well, and I mean, I can look back to when the Discord started, when NPC started, and the NPC started because mm-hmm. of the announcement of the Switch, right? And yep. like now, there's all these little micro communities within the Discord, like Animal Crossing and Smash, and I'm seeing more the, people. I remember how much it grew when we when we started SBC yeah. as well. Just like the number of people coming in the Discord was crazy. Yeah, and it's still. I mean, even today, seeing how many new faces end up joining, like main mm-hmm. chat. There's not as many people chatting there. It's mostly people jumping in, and then all the chats are happening in other places now. You know, and it's it's uh, it probably needs a little housekeeping or whatever. But I mean, it's. I don't, it's just it's so fun it's so fun just getting getting to know people and seeing all these relationships being made you know that's that's one of the biggest highlights for me it's like man we've we've we have introduced a lot of people to each other you know what i mean like yeah. and i mean like you know eric we go way back to playing on xbox live right it hadn't been for rainbow six and xbox live and you're gamer tag and me going i hope this kid's okay with this kid. i hate my life on forum like we gotta talk bud you know, uh, like, and, uh, yeah. you know, and Great I mean, times. you know, crawler, like you just, you just listened to the show and then got real involved yeah. in the community. And then we started playing. And, and, I, I, and I knew of you from destiny stuff, but yeah, it, I really got involved with, with Nintendo stuff. Yeah. And it's, so it's just, it's just been, it's, you know, and now we're doing this now we're doing this yeah. and yep. this is so much fun. My wife was like, my gosh, it sounds like you guys are having fun. Like, <laughs> like she has it. I mean, she's probably watching it right now. And so she's, nice. she's just like, it just looks, Again. it just looks like you guys are having like, you know, we're not, we're not scraping the bottom of the barrel trying to figure no. out. I like how we what, went just two hours ago. Like we need to keep it an hour and a half. So I don't have to do a whole lot of work. I know this we've, got, sure we've got, we've got like over, over two hours at this point. We're an hour, 16 minutes. So we've got to wrap up sooner. I'm okay. going to lose the recording again. <laughs> so yeah. we've just been in the call a lot longer. Than another, <laughs> another great segue. By crawler <laughs> to, to wrap this thing up i'm on yeah. a roll man what can i say <laughs> yeah so here's what i do want to say the pause gang we have a press pause section in the discord chat with us there if you have topics that you want us to talk about like this is pretty like we didn't even talk about outriders we talked about it last week but we played it a little bit we the three of us should try to play it together and and really like i i, I feel like i had a little bit of rote like like rose tinted glasses with that game a little bit, just like because it was like yeah, every, last night. everything was so new and like oh, this is this is sweet, but like it's not going to be a games of service, so it's like it's a it's a one and done. There may not you know it's they're not going to keep updating stuff or putting out raids. It may have DLC, right? Don't uh, don't get me wrong, but it's not going to be like transactions. It, yeah, it's not going to be Destiny <laughs> style, which I was I was hoping for something long long term like that, but it could still be a lot of fun to play through. But that right. also makes it manageable too, which is the nice thing because that, yep. Destiny is a lot of upkeep. Yeah, it's why I haven't got back to it because I'm like, I don't, I want to play other things. I still want to be able to jump into Smash and play Call of Duty and not have to be stuck just trying to grind Destiny so I can do the next raid and, you know, which I haven't even done the new raid, which I want to, but I yeah. Haven't. So, but there you go, Eric. Where can people yeah. find you? On the Discord, obviously. Um, you know, there's a lot of good conversations. Come join, come hang out. You'll find me here whenever we do it. You know, you'll you'll hear us on all the things, including Apple soon. Uh, you know, Twitter, in, invite me places. Every everywhere I want to be found, I'm ha- I hate zero. We're gonna get him on if Twitch. You find soon. me where I'm not. <laughs> To be my found. my, be my writing sta- my writing staples is on sale on PlayStation. You can go pick that up. Uh, I got it. On, I got it on Switch already. <laughs> oh, that's right. You did. Buy, you did buy it, yeah, didn't you? I got it. Yeah, I got it. I don't think I got a 4K update or anything. So oh, it needs it. It needs it. 
if it has like you know PS5 adaptive triggers, I might have to pull the trigger. You can, you can feel those hooves landing. Oh man, that's fancy. <laughs> Crawler, where can we find you? Uh, you can be like Eric and follow me on Twitter. <laughs> uh, <and> then, <laughs> that is uh, so. Wait, Night Crawler three years. <laughs> Nightcrawler seven two four and Nightcrawlers without the e. I don't like. I told Eric I don't tweet a lot. You're not missing out on much. But hey, come say hi. Um, and then uh, and then uh, hang- three years. <laughs> Hanging out in the Discord, uh, playing playing Smash. We I think we got big smash stuff coming tomorrow so Six Josh and I might be uh i'm i'm hopeful that like the terry like the terry drop where we had a morning sakurai presents we're gonna have uh pyro and mithra tomorrow night so oh my gosh. um look look for josh and i to probably tomorrow or friday night getting a uh a smash bros cast out so yeah. check us out there and uh n64josh.com slash discord gets you the invite and that's for agent uh agent uh what's his name jack agent jack agent jack, <laughs> agent jack. <laughs> He, he remembers how to get back in the Discord so he can delete more messages. If you're yeah. listening to this, <laughs> it's an adult show. Yeah. Don't, don't tell him when you're listening to it. Guys, you can follow me everywhere at N64Josh. If you're using the Epic Store, put in my creator code, N64Josh. I'd really, really appreciate it. Whether for Fortnite or just picking up games, put in the creator code, creator code N64Josh. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, all the places, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. We love you guys. Thank you so much for listening. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye now.